the primary role of the high-pressure fuel pump is to guarantee the adequate delivery of fuel at the necessary pressure throughout the entire range of the engine's operations, encompassing rapid starting, idle, cruising, and power demands. If this pump sustains damage, it will significantly affect the vehicle's acceleration, fuel efficiency, and overall performance. In such instances, replacement becomes necessary. But the pump carries a significantly high price tag, the cost of repairing services will be higher as well. If the pump is not excessively worn, it is possible for us to undertake the repairs ourselves. The recommended replacement pump is displayed here for your reference. The high pressure pump generates high pressure in a continuous mode, regardless of the operation of the injectors and the pressure in the reservoir. This means that the fuel is not compressed for each individual injection, as is done in ordinary injection systems. Valve parts can develop punching marks and corrosion due to aging, which are visible indicators of wear and tear. In order to clean these parts, it may be necessary to lightly grind them. The pump most often used is a radial piston pump equipped with three pumping sections. This pump is mounted on the diesel engine. All parts should be carefully disassembled and set aside. Out of the three pumping sections, one section is currently open. This piston compresses the fuel. The fuel is compressed by pistons located radially inside the pump. Three strokes of the piston per one revolution cause overlapping of pumping in this radial pump, requires a low maximum torque and constitutes an even load on the pump drive. Look at the valve assembly. We can see the traces of it on the flange. This pumps are fuel lubricated. Hence, the fuel filter needs to be changed at regular intervals to prevent impurities and water in the fuel from depositing in the pump, which can cause corrosion. Disassemble the valve very carefully, ensuring that the small spring inside does not slip or bend. The spring and valve disc are securely seated inside the valve cage. Metal polishing powder mixed with WD-40 can be used to polish valve body, flange, etc. Do not apply too much pressure when polishing the parts. If they wear out further, they become useless.
Ensure thorough cleaning of all the parts in the three sections using this method. Remove and clean all rubber seals and gaskets. The pistons move when the drive shaft cam rotates. Finally, rinse it well. Diesel is used here. To ensure the pump operates smoothly, it is crucial to have all parts clean and free from dust. Test the suction power, cover the whole of the flange with your finger and then pull the piston out. Then you can see the piston going back in.
After everything was installed, it was checked and fitted to the engine. It is functioning well. The video showcasing the process is not included here due to its length. If you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing and liking. Thank you.